All right. So for this question, we're going to determine if the graph of each question is symmetric with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, origin, or none of these. So in order to figure this problem out, we need to know the rules for symmetry. So in order to check the, if it's symmetric, uh, to the x-axis, what we're going to do is we're going to replace y with negative y and see if we get the same thing. For the y-axis symmetry, we're replacing x with negative x and seeing if we get the same thing. And then with the origin, we're going to do both. Replace y with negative y, x with negative x, and see if we end up with the same equation. So let's go ahead and plug in, for example, a and let's see what we get. So let's check the x-axis symmetry first. So for the x-axis symmetry, we're going to replace y with negative y. So here we have y is equal to negative x squared plus 3. So if we take this y and replace it with negative y, what we're looking for is are we left with the same equation when we do that? Now, plugging in negative y for y, there's really nothing that we can simplify here or anything like that. This negative y stays a negative y. Um, there's no signs that cancel out or anything like that. So there's not much, not much that we can do with this one here. So taking a look at this equation and comparing it to our original, these are obviously not the same equation. So it's not symmetric to the x-axis. So let's try y-axis symmetry. So for y-axis symmetry, we're going to replace x with negative x and see what we get. Now when we do this, so notice here I plugged in negative x for x, and there is some simplifying that we can do here. So this negative x is going to end up getting squared, and when we do negative x times negative x, those negatives are going to cancel out to a positive x squared there. And then this negative on the outside of the parentheses is just going to drop down. It's still there. It's only this negative here on the inside that's going to get squared. So that negative is going to cancel out. So uh, taking a look at the equation that, we're, that we have left, we have y is equal to negative x squared plus 3, which is the exact same equation that we started with. So it looks like y-axis symmetry does check out. Now we can go ahead and check the origin, but the fact that the x-axis symmetry didn't work means more than likely the origin is not going to work. Um, so for the origin, we replace y with negative y, x with negative x, and see if we're left with the same equation. So if I plug in a negative y in for y, and if I plug in a negative x in for x here, and I simplify this, well, uh, for the y, this is going to stay the same. For my x, this negative times negative is going to cancel out to a positive x squared. Um, so here we can see the equation that we're left with is obviously not the same thing of the original equation. So therefore, the only one that worked, for example, a, is the y-axis symmetry. So let's take a look at another example. So for example, B, we have x is equal to negative absolute value of y plus 4. So let's check x-axis symmetry first. So x-axis symmetry, let's replace um, y with negative y and see what we get. So if we plug in negative y for y instead, so what we know about absolute value is that absolute value makes everything inside the absolute value bars uh, positive. So this negative here is still going to drop down. When we take the absolute value of negative y, we're actually going to get a positive y. And then we drop down the plus 4. So the absolute value bars, regardless what's inside these bars, we know that it's going to be positive. So plugging in this negative y, it's going to end up just being a positive y. Now I went ahead and just dropped down the absolute value bars just to show you that it is the same equation here. But anything inside the absolute value bars is going to become positive. So this negative y is going to change to a positive y. So if we compare our original equation to the one that we got when we replaced y with negative y, they're the same exact thing. So that means this is symmetric to the x-axis. 
So let's try, let's check y-axis symmetry. So for y-axis symmetry, we're plugging it plugging in a negative x in for x and seeing if we're left with the same equation. Now, when we plug in a negative x for x, there's nothing that's going to simplify or go on over here with this negative x. And this negative x is obviously not the same of the x that we started with for our equation. So y-axis symmetry does not work here. And because y-axis symmetry does not work, that means that origin is not going to work origin, we would plug in the negative x for x, we would plug in a negative y for y, but because this negative x is not going to disappear, we are not going to be left with the same equation, even though the y will simplify down to a positive y, um, the x won't, um, so that throws the entire thing off. So let's try another example. So looking at example C, we have y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 1. So let's check x-axis symmetry first. So that means we're plugging in negative y for y and seeing what we get. Now when we plug in negative y in for y, again, there's nothing that can be simplified here. That negative y stays a negative y, which means that this equation is obviously not the same thing as our original. So x-axis symmetry does not work. Let's try y-axis symmetry. For y-axis symmetry, we're plugging in a negative x in 4x and seeing what we get. So when we do this one here, this negative x here will end up being positive because we're squaring it. And a negative times a negative is a positive. So that one does end up matching up with our original equation. But what's going to give us problems is this term right over here. We plugged in this negative x here for the x that we had, and negative x times this 5 is going to make that a minus 5x, which is not the same thing as our original equation. So it almost worked. This first term checked out for us, but because this is now negative, that is not the same thing as our original equation. So y-axis symmetry does not work, which means that origin is not going to work. When we plug in a negative x for x and we plug in a positive x, I mean, a, when we plug in a negative x for x and a negative y for y, um, this is not going to work out here because this negative y is not the same thing as our original equation here. And then this negative 5x is not the same as that positive 5x there. And let's try one more example. So looking at example D, we have x squared minus y squared is equal to 5. So checking x-axis symmetry first, that tells us to plug in a negative y in for y and see what we get. Now when we plug in negative y in for y, what we're going to see here is because this term is squared, negative y times negative y ends up being a positive y there. And then this minus sign is still in front, which is fine because we have the minus sign here in our original equation. So this negative y canceled out to a positive. So we're left with x squared minus y squared is equal to 5, which is the same thing as our original equation. x squared minus y squared is equal to 5. So x-axis symmetry works. Let's try y-axis symmetry and see what we get. So for this one, we're plugging in a negative x in for x and seeing what we get. Now, negative x uh, with this term, this one is being squared as well. So negative x times negative x cancels to a positive x squared. And then we drop down the rest of the equation. So we're left with x squared minus y squared is equal to 5, which is the same thing as our original equation. So y-axis symmetry works. So let's go ahead and check our origin. The fact that x and y axis symmetry both checked out, that means more than likely origin is going to check out. So replace x with negative x, replace y with negative y, and see what we get. Well, let's see. Here we have negative x squared, and negative x times negative x is a positive x squared. Drop down the minus sign. And negative y times negative y is a positive y squared. And that all equals 5. And this equation, x squared minus y squared is equal to 5, is the same thing as our original equation, x squared minus y squared is equal to 5. So for that one, the origin works. 
right? So for example, D, X axis, Y axis, and origin all checked out. I forgot to mention here with C, none of these checked out, right? So that means for C, it was a neither case. Right, so for A, we saw it was Y axis, for B, it was an X axis, for C, it was neither, and for D, all three of them worked. Otherwise, all you got to do is remember the rules for symmetry, and that's how you check them. Otherwise, that's it for this video.